Highwayman, I'm Yankee from Yankin Bank. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I fly DCS, notably the Hornet, and soon the F-15 Strike Eagle, flying a white knuckle, thrilling multi-role missions. I hope you consider subscribing to help me bring me closer to my goal of a thousand subs this year. Today we have an awesome mission, so make sure you show some appreciation and hit that like button and comment down below as I do my best to respond to all. Without further ado, it's time for Wheels Up. So we were just patrolling the Black Sea off the coast here, and uh, we've just gotten word from the ground that SEAL Team 2 tried to intercept a, a couple ships leaving a port. And we're unsuccessful in doing so, and now there's a uh, scare that they are going to deliver weapons to Crimea. So we've actually been given clearance to destroy these ships. Uh, on board we have four AGM... Uh, 84Ds, also known as the Harpoon. These are uh, subsonic 500 pound warhead uh, bombs meant for anti-ship. So we're going to uh, gonna be on the lookout for them. We have a flare on board also for visual confirmation to make sure that we don't hit any other ships that could be out here in the Black Sea. No civilian casualties or anything, but we're told that there's two freighters carrying the cargo and then there's one heavily assaulted uh, ship kind of sitting as an escort. Um, to defend the freighters from any, whether it be us or any ships uh, going in to intercept. So uh, we're going to have to be on the lookout for those and uh, hopefully destroy and have a successful mission here on our patrol. Um, to do so, we can start taking a look. So let's switch our air radar to our ground radar. And uh, we're seeing a picture here. 40 miles is the range right now. You can see the coast here, which is obviously the coast to our right. Uh, there's a blip here. I don't think that's them leaving the port. It could be. It's definitely off the coast, but uh, we'll just keep an eye on it. Oh, but now what we see here is there's definitely something further out at sea that I think is probably more what we're looking for, but we'll just keep an eye out for, for this one here, about 40 miles out. Um, so it's about to hit 40 miles, so I believe what we'll do is we'll just bring our radar down to 40. And uh, get our TDC slew out here so that we can actually just get, you know, the scale's a bit bigger here. Um, so we'll be able to get a much more accurate uh, selection once uh, it comes into our, our radar and comes within 40 miles. Let's get a bit more detail. While that uh, happens, we're just going to start getting ready. We're actually going to turn on our flare on this screen so that we're going to have a visual once we select it. Wherever we select our um, target here, you're going to see the flare on the left designate and look out to that area. If we go out there, we actually did it just a little bit in front of the hit, but that's all right. Uh, and now if we go to our flare, we're going to start investigating and start by zooming in. We know we're probably a little bit in front of our target. Oh, actually, I can actually see a couple white specks. Um, one right here for sure. Another here. And the third one right here. So this is exactly the target we're looking for. We go ahead and select that one. And now, on our HUD, we can see exactly where we need to head. They're 30 miles out. We'll just get uh, in position, and we know that's our target uh, because there were three of them, and, and it's exactly as described. Um, so that's perfect. That's excellent. Uh, if we see what we're looking for here, ah, I see. Oh, it looks like there's a couple, maybe oil rigs out here at sea. A little hard to see from this distance, but definitely that's what we're seeing on the coast before on our radar, and that's obviously not our target. So. Let's uh, quickly start set up some harpoons. We can actually start descending closer to the ground. Um, just reduce throttle a little bit, save some fuel, and buy ourselves a little bit of time as we set up our um, our weapons. We'll get rid of this joystick. Oh, that's not a good visual. Let's uh, just go there and select our stores and select our harpoon. All right, we want it to fly nice and low, and we want it to skim the ground. Makes it harder for the heavy assault ship to shoot it down. And then, oh, actually, I wasn't ready for that just yet. And then UFC, we're gonna have them search after, we'll say, five miles. Destroy after, let's say, 25 at this point. 
And out of bearing, it's basically, where are they? Just over here. I'd say that's about bearing 315. We'll go 315, enter. And so now everything looks good here. We're gonna just set up the next one. Now we'll hit step and set up the same thing. Just make sure that's low. It's already set for skim. And on the UFC, same idea. Search after five, destroy after 25, and bearing three, one, five, enter. And uh, basically now we're ready to go. So we'll go air to ground and master arm switch on. And we'll hit weapon release twice to shoot both those uh, harpoons. You just felt the, the jet shake and, and let them go. They are subsonic, so they're not going to quite get there quickly. I'm um, not exactly sure, sure what speed they travel, if we're going to pass them or not. But we're going to kind of start dipping down low and distract the, the, the assault ship and, and just kind of do a show of force at the same time. We're just catching a beautiful sunset soon. Start to see the sky change colors. Yeah, it's definitely an oil rig. Yeah, we would have seen that in the flaring, we wouldn't have shot at it, obviously. But, uh, yeah, definitely uh, very interesting. Can we start to get visual? Yeah, we can start to see the ships out there in the distance. Hopefully our harpoons are going to start tracking. We have two more for our second pass once we get a, a damage assessment. Our, it'll be mission success if we just destroy the two freighters. We don't have to worry so much about the uh, heavy assault ship. It would be nice to get all three, but uh, as long as the cargo doesn't make it to Crimea, uh, we'll be uh, in okay shape. All right, so we're coming in close. You can definitely see them. You can actually get rid of this now. See, I don't want to get too close and make it easy for it to shoot us. It's now, you know, picked this up on its radar. We're getting shot at. Oh, what a dodge. Hopefully it's... going to watch our missile, but... Oh, oh, we just hit! It just hit! It tried to shoot it, but we just hit that shit. Oh my god. You guys, I hope I got that. I just got a little glimpse of it. Alright, let's just... Do it, it, you see that we distracted it? And just enough so that the uh, harpoon can actually hit that ship. And now you can see it's on fire. It's going to be sinking soon. Alright, that was wicked. Honestly, I'm so happy with how that went. Now we have two more missiles to try and get... This last freighter. And that'll be a mission success. Okay, so let's uh, go back around. We can actually start to set up the... Uh, actually, we had it there, sorry. That's uh, that's fine, we'll, we'll keep going with that. Um, the other thing we can do here, and actually that's what we'll, that's exactly what we'll do, is how about the display back on. And We'll undesignate because the, the target was kind of falling behind. Now we can use our helmet mount to display. Oh, you can just see just it's starting to submerge there. And we'll just designate right around there. Well, let's not jump into the, the drink. But uh, now we'll be have a better idea as we get further out in the distance. We'll have uh, an idea where the target is as they fly into that, that intercept. We're just going to turn around and get ready for our next pass. I've set the uh, harpoons to search after 1, destroy after 10, and we're just going to need to get our final bearing here. Okay, so we want the one on the right. That's exactly where our target, where we designated. Okay. 330 is the bearing. UFC bearing 330, enter. And let's actually just do weapon release. Next one. 
three three zero enter weapon Not release. Two. Hopefully they're tracking. We're gonna distract it on the left. Hopefully the uh, one of the harpoons just needs to hit that freighter, and it's a it's a good mission. Get rid of the helmet mounted display just so we get good visual. Look at that sunset; it's beautiful. We can see our har our harpoon right there. It's got to pitch pick between us. Oh my god, we're gonna see it. It's not it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit. Oh no, it's gonna hit. What did it hit? What did it hit? Oh, both harpoons hit both ships. Oh we missed it. Oh my god. We just shot down both ships. That honestly couldn't have gone any better. And look, do you, know, do you guys notice that the uh, gun was shooting at us, so it didn't pay attention to the harpoons that were on its way. And we dodged it, luckily. But, uh, oh man, that was awesome. And that was awesome. That's a successful mission. I hope you guys liked it. That was exciting. That was, uh, I love flying low and, and doing some uh, ship, anti-ship uh flying but this is, i hope you guys liked it hit the like button subscribe if you haven't and uh lots of stuff coming um but uh yeah that was that was a lot of fun that was a lot really exhilarating kind of the anticipation the harpoons you don't know where they're gonna go exactly you're just altitude. hoping that they'll track altitude. but uh that that honestly couldn't have gone uh, much better i don't think uh we live didn't get take any damage even though we were shot at and we took down three enemy ships uh, did what the uh, Navy SEALs couldn't, supposedly, so uh, very, very happy with that. You can see, actually, this freighter is definitely starting to sink. Awesome.